remember I had the part number to the mower. I have a Somebody did here. Let me let me zoom you in over here. Um, sorry about the wind noise, but I'm hoping. All right, so this is where the throttle cable goes, right here, and the throttle cable is broken. So what they've done. doesn't come off and basically defeating any type of safety equipment on the mower. I hope you can still hear me. Coming over here to grab a set of cutters which are right here. I was honestly I was messing with a different mower a few minutes ago and uh, it was pissing me off because I, every, every time I have a Toro lawnmower the thing is a nightmare so I don't know I know you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing up here let's see if I can get a better view of there. I may need. Ah. All right. That's not the proper procedure, but it's what I did for now. <laughs> so I I got this cable. That I have here on a guess because I had a similar lawnmower last year and I guess that's good I guess that's how that goes I didn't change that cable last year on it and then this is kind of goes up through here and up through here And it, oh, the handle just broke. That's interesting. So, let's, let's see, do I have maybe, maybe this one will work. Just enough to see if this engine will run. Probably not because that's a completely different style of handle. I just want to. There are some cables. Uh, I think that's the only thing. Holding this together. Alright, let me see. The fuel does not smell particularly great in here, but. Try and take it off a choke. Oh, I didn't have it all the way on choke. Well, 
not necessarily a no parts repair, but damn, that thing sounds pretty good. <laughs> it actually runs pretty darn good. So, what I need to do is get a hold of Troy Bill, or maybe use this barcode here, because I need to get the original handle and a couple other little nitpicky things but this thing runs good it actually runs really good <laughs> and uh well that's a good thing right i should have checked the self repel while i was at it but i didn't really feel like it so anyway i think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call this a video, but I'm going to run it one more time, and I'm sorry about the wind noise. There really isn't a whole heck of a lot I can do about it. And go ahead and record it, and then run the self propel. I might throw like some seafoam uh, fuel treatment in there just to get the carburetor a little bit clean. Hell, I'm kind of wondering about this uh, electric mower now, but I, you know, I've been working for 12 hours now, so I'm going to go ahead and get things put back together. What I'm going to need to do next, the next video involving this, I'll pull the cover off and find out why the self-propel doesn't work. But until then, have a blessed day, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.